Well, welcome back for our second video. There are a lot of opinions out there as to what a Pentecostal church is. Well, let me say that the Assemblies of God established, which is over 100 years old, established the standard a long time ago. First of all, Pentecostal churches don't handle snakes, okay? There was a, some TV shows a while back that led a lot of people to believe that all Pentecostal churches are the same. No, there's a hand, small handful of churches in remote areas where they still practice that. But Pentecostals have never been snake handling churches and I, I don't like snakes. Just no, okay? Now, Pentecostals do believe that the book of Acts is our model for the church today. And what does that mean? Basically, if they did it, we can do it too. If they prayed for the sick and they were healed, we can pray for the sick and they were healed. If we pray for miracles, God can do miracles. If they believe that telling people of the good news about Jesus' life, death, and resurrection would bring new life, it's important for us to do the same thing. Now, what do we see the, book, the church in the book of Acts doing? Well, they were worshipers. They worshiped Jesus, not just on Sunday, but with their life and their lifestyle. They built a strong community together. They shared life together and they, and they were bonded in a love, a self-sacrificing love that didn't expect anything in return. They grew in their relationship with Jesus, or as 2 Peter 3 says, they grew in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. They served their world with the gifts that God had given them, both supernatural and, and natural gifts. And they served each other and everyone around them with those. And they told the whole world about Jesus, about his life, the fact that he died upon a cross, that he rose from a grave alive three days later, and that he is in heaven interceding on their behalf right now. Now, more about that in the next video. All of this was possible because they were empowered by the Holy Spirit. And that's probably the one thing that sets us apart from everybody else, is that we believe that the baptism of the Holy Spirit that we read about in Acts chapter 2, verse number 4, is evidenced by speaking in other tongues or in another language. That language could be a, a natural language of, this, of, of our world or a heavenly language. We find both of them mentioned in the New Testament. Now, if you've ever seen a Pentecostal worship service, if you've ever been to one or watched it on TV or the internet, you, you may have looked at some things and went, hmm, that's weird. And I get that, it, that's understandable. But it's estimated that there are 643 million believers worldwide who are Pentecostal or believe in a spirit-filled life. So my point being is, it's not as rare as you think. But why the Holy Spirit? Well, Jesus promised that whenever he had to go to heaven in order to intercede on our behalf, that he would send the Holy Spirit in order to replace him, to do in our lives what Jesus was, would do if, if he was standing right here in front of us, a helper, a guide, a leader, uh, someone to give us wisdom, help us give direction in our life. You see, on our own, we can't do it. We need God's help in order to accomplish His will in our life and in this world. And it comes in the form of the Holy Spirit. So the question you have to ask yourself is, do you want to live your life kind of struggling on your own with little to no help, or do you want to let God in your life on His terms and discover His plan for you? Now, does it mean that you're exempt from trouble? No, it doesn't. Jesus said, where's life is going to have trouble? But he did say that you would never have to go through that trouble by yourself, that he would be there for you. And God will love us through our times of need. And I don't know about you, but if that's weird, I want to be weird, okay? A long time ago, a pastor taught me that the Holy Spirit is a perfect gentleman. In other words, he will not force anything on you. Instead, he will give you the opportunity to receive the gifts that God has in store for you. And that's what we're about here at Faith Family Worship Center. You discovering who God created you to be and fulfilling that purpose in your life. Well, more about that in the next video.